This is the Arduino Explorer board. Picked it up at Radio Shack, had some gift certificates and coupon to uh, see what's going on with this guy. Turned out to be a pretty full featured board. Really quick overview. It's got four buttons, a light sensor, RGB LED, a slider, <clears throat> microphone, speaker, accelerometer, temperature sensor, joystick, and headers for like a, an LCD, TFT LCD screen, as well as some tinker kits. Uh, full details can be found on the Arduino website. But uh, it's pretty neat. The PCB is shaped like a gamepad. <clears throat> Makes it pretty cool. Figure, what can I do? What can I write? Some software to make this kind of interesting. And I found my old Wi-Fi Arduino robot on the shelf. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably remember this from a few years ago. Real basic. He's got an Arduino with a Wi-Fi shield on it. Servo motors for the wheels. And um, a servo and IR distance sensor for autonomous navigation. Python script communicates with them. Real basic. Um, the Explorer here, once you plug it in, it's an Atmega 8U, so it takes a little while to boot up. There's more logic than the old 328s, but it's got a little boot up routine. So now you know he's on. Um, I run my script off screen right now, but uh, I make the Python script get communication from this controller, not a USB joystick or not from the keyboard. To keep things simple, and um, the bottom button is navigation via joystick. So I use the joystick over here just to uh, control the robot and uh, move them around a little bit. It's really basic, nothing very special at all with that. Um, go ahead and hit the same button again, turns off that navigation mode, but the Python script is still listening to commands from the Explorer, nothing else. The Left button is accelerometer based um, drive, so let me let me level it out. You tap that, uh, you get the blue LED, and now the accelerometer on the board is what's used to control the robot. Left, right, backwards, on. Very, very basic. And again, tap the same button to turn off that mode. Your LED goes off. The slider. <clears throat> is for the infrared um, sensor left he looks left put it somewhere towards the middle he'll go to the middle front view move it all the way to the right he'll look to the right now this was interesting because um, in the code which I'll, I'll go over if, if you're interested I notice I moved it a little bit off center but not all the way back you gotta be in that mode in order to accept button commands but I'll, I'll show you that in the, in the code the other feature is there's autonomous roving. This robot will do for probably 30, 45 seconds, and all you gotta do is press the right button. You'll get an LED, and he'll uh, he'll navigate on his own for for a little while. It's just a predetermined. I don't remember the exact set in the code, but as you can see, the arena I've got him in here. It's a little uh, little small for his uh, his abilities, so he's gonna move around quite a bit and take a little while to really find his own way through there. Then he stops automatically. Um, other than that, there's there's not too much more to explain. It's it's really it's really basic. But it's just kinda neat to actually see, you know, the Explorer controlling a real robot in different modes too. I tried to use as much as I could in terms of the code and the ability of the controller versus the ability of the robot. Just to just to make things interesting, but um, other than that, there's not really too much to them because there's it's really basic code set. No accelerometer mode, and there is a slight delay between the commands because you don't want to send too many commands to them. But it's a uh, I hope you find it kind of neat. And then to exit the control mode for Explorer is the top button. That gives command back to the Python script, which again is off screen. But that way, you if you have keyboard control, like um, you know, off screen, I'm just using the Python keyboard. I don't have a USB joystick on me right now, but that could be used at this moment as well. So it's a pretty neat little uh, control board. <clears throat> Real basic, just a programming exercise for me, and uh, I hope you find it kind of interesting. Or if you have an Explorer, maybe motivate you to get uh, control of a robot with it. So, uh, 
As always, thanks for watching.